hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in for another video today oh this is a project that i was doing for my daughter last night i made her a t-shirt for school but um let's go back to home and back to the intro today we are going to be making sticker sheets for my bestie's daughter for christmas so i'm gonna go back to customize i've downloaded these images from google and all i did was uh, what's going on here my stuff i downloaded these images from google and all i did was remove the background and add an offset to all of the ones that I removed the background on. The ones that I did not remove the background on, I literally just uploaded them as is. And I'm gonna print them and cut them as is. So, uh, I don't even know what that is at this point, so I'm just gonna put whatever and move on. So I can open my project and get to what I was supposed to be recording. So screens at 100, we gonna lower it down because I just watched some videos and I think I learned some stuff. So I'm gonna try to make these You know what? I'm not even going to do all that because I feel like I'm making big sheets and I'm not trying to make small sheets of stickers. So that won't be necessary at this point. But I'm going to click make it since I got all my stickers that I want to print. And I'm just going to sort them here on the screen the way that I want them. Mm, that looks all right. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, that looks decent already. I don't even have to do anything to it. So. Hmm. Do I want to move anything? I don't think I want to move anything. I kind of maybe want to move the red ones around. Like I want to put all the red ones on one sheet. So let's try and move one of these over here. And these are overlapping for some reason. Oh, because that's the one I moved. Duh. But let's move that out the way. Put that there. And I want to move this to the other page. I'm going to drag this over here. A little bit higher and that's perfect mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah I think that's great I don't think that needs to be moved around at all so now we're good to go to print so I'm gonna change these page sizes though because I'm printing on a4 paper hopefully that doesn't uh, it changed to three pages. Let's see if we could still do some things. Um, so this one's there. And do I have space to put anything else? Maybe if I turn it this one. I feel like I should turn that one too. Mm -mm. 
that won't work. So, put him back where he was. If he wants to go at this point, maybe not. This can move up a little bit. It has no background, so yeah. I could go right there. Mm. Or like right there. Yeah. So maybe up here. not touching so that's good okay and then I can move this one over some as far as it lets me and now I have space for other stuff so let's move the red one to this sheet for sure else wait what's on his third sheet definitely move that to the other page and I still have so much space so I think I'm gonna probably see what this page looks like this page looks great, so I can actually add more stickers. So I'm going to go back to this page. And I'm probably going to be able to duplicate this one. Or maybe even the red ones. I can duplicate them at least twice. And then this one, I can duplicate it like three times. So gonna cancel even though I know I'm gonna have to redo all that movement but I'm just gonna go for it so the red one I said I can duplicate I'm gonna duplicate that once and then move that and then it was the small one I can duplicate that like three times one two three And I think we should be good. Let's go back to make it. And let's go back to moving some stuff around or see if they sorted it properly this time. Nope, because the page is still off. Let's change the page size. That should change the page size for everything. Let me double check. Yeah, it did. So let's see what this looks like. It's the first page. Hmm move this up and over again move this one right here this one over here let's go right there and this one up and over and now I have space so I'm going to grab this red one, move that to the first page so I can get all the red on one page. Mm 
that's good right there then I'm gonna move this third page I'm gonna move some stuff I can move one to the second page for sure because I just took that red out could have probably put a bigger one there but that'll do then these should fit on the first page hopefully where did it go oh right there <laughs> okay so that's what we have we definitely could probably add some more but i'm not going to i am going to move these around though because that is it's just so much more space down here so i can make room much more room for it and make it look a little bit better okay so i think that is good right there move this down yeah i think that's good i'm actually gonna move that down a little bit give it some space up there and yeah we're all good so now i don't have to mirror it because i'm actually using printable vinyl sticker paper I'll show you my materials in a second and it's going to be a print and cut. Everything looks great. We're starting on first page. Just check the second page. Looks great. Nice spacing. Probably move this one down just to give it a little, you know, the sham sham, make it not look so empty in certain spots so yeah that looks good to me okay mm -hmm. I'm going with that guys I'm going with that so let's click continue and send to printer now I have an offset on these so I'm gonna turn my bleed off Cause I usually have my bleed on and I just want to see what it looks like when I have my bleed off to be honest. So now I'm going to print cause I'm using my system dialog. It's going to open. I'm going to go to my preferences and I have my save preference for stickers. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to click print. Now that it's sending that to the printer, I'm going to select my cut. And I think I'm going to change it to the washi sheet setting. I usually use the, um, I believe the premium vinyl setting. And that works kind of, sort of, but it cuts through the paper. So I'm going to try washi sheet and see if that works for me. Should I use washi sheet or washi tape? Hmm. I'm going to try to washi sheet first and see if that works. And if not, then I'm going to try to washi tape. But I'm going to actually favorites both of these just in case I need to switch it up. And let's just put, I'm actually not going to do remember because I don't know if it's going to work. But let's get to the materials, guys. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna be using this self-adhesive clear laminating film by Llama. It's 12 by 15 feet, three mil thickness. Don't know what that means, but I have used the glossy version of this and it is good stuff. So I'm gonna try this out. This is actually a Vine product that I have to review, so here we go. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good though. But also I'm going to be using these printable vinyl sheets, sticker sheets that I got off Amazon, of course. And they're the Lazy Drop brand. You're going to also need your brayer. And I'm going to switch out my standard grip mat for my light grip blue mat because I don't want my sticker sheet sticking here. I don't know, but you know what I mean. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just opened the box for the self-adhesive. I didn't remember it came with its own little scraper tool, which I'm probably gonna use. But let's open up this laminate sheet. Oh, and it comes with a mini pair of scissors. Yeah, I remember these. These are so cool, right? Like they literally fold up for you, but Definitely gonna put those over here this time because I don't know where the other ones went. So, my sticker sheets are ready. And what I'm gonna do is laminate them prior to putting them in my Cricut. And I'm using the Cricut Explore Air 2, if you are not aware. But I got it for Chris, an early Christmas gift. So, I've been using it like crazy and it is a dream come true for me. I'm not even going to lie to you. If I can get this tape off my hand though. Okay, so. How I like to put my laminate on is I take off just a tad little corner. A tiny corner. And I do this even with my... um my vinyl like this is just the best way I know how to do it if you know a better way that probably works better for you definitely use it don't switch it up because I say so but this is how I do it and there are some tape residue left on there that I want to get off so let's do that first because it's going to leave it on my sticker okay so now we got that together. I should have definitely cut this part or two, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm not going to laminate these corner lines at all. So what I want to do is literally make sure that I am well, I think I am going to have to laminate it just a tad bit, but what I want to do is cut it first. So put my little piece back and let's cut a sheet before I actually go to stick it down. So I'm just going to measure it out how I think I need it. So remember, I don't want to laminate these corner sheets, which I don't even think it will matter because this is matte. And the sheets are matte. So to be honest, because my cuts have to go around, I'm going to definitely have to laminate the whole sheet. Not quite the whole sheet, but, you know, kind of. So I think that will be more than enough. So I think I'm going to be able to clip... Uh, I'm going to clip right here. And I'm using, I'm literally just going to use the grid line to try to get it as straight as possible. Now move that out the way and let's get these laminated. Now, if you're wondering, I'm just literally using a Canon inkjet printer. No special printing equipment needed for these. 
I don't know what that black spot is, but hopefully it doesn't mess up the aesthetics of everything. It'll be, it'll line up like right in the middle of his hair. So hopefully you can't really tell it's there, but let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. So let's pull back my corner again. Let's eliminate this thing. So I gotta make sure it's gonna be right over that hairline. I think that's good. I'm gonna make sure that it's firmly on that corner. When I pull, it looks like everything's gonna be covered. So I gotta pull carefully. But this is just the way I like to do it because it just seems to get everything the way I need it. Yeah. And I still kind of missed a bit of hair up there, but I'm hoping that Cricut just cuts, you know? And I don't really need that section or something like that. Okay, so I got an air bubble in there. You know, I can push that out. Hopefully I can. If not, I can just pop it with my little weeding tool. Not looking like it's coming out, but most of them are. And you can hear the air bubbles popping, of course. Push this bubble out. I may have gotten it good enough <laughs> or maybe that's just as good as it's gonna get because it's doing some funny right there but I feel like it's gonna cut around that anyway so it doesn't really matter is that air I feel like that's air as well so right now Let's just get my brayer, move my mat for now, and cut this extra off. Well, I can just fold it under. We're not cutting down there anyways, it doesn't matter. So, just fold that under. But, I'm going to get my brayer and go over this. And there is an air bubble right there I can see. So I'm going to take my little needle tool and just poke. And then flatten that out. Just like that. Just 
still feels like a little bit of something's in there so I'm gonna poke it again and just go for it and that is that Okay, so now we're finally ready to put this on a mat. <laughs> and to put it on a mat, you could just turn your move your mouse, turn your screen back on, whatever. And just literally place it directly on the corner, like right on the lines, and that's gonna give you the perfect cut. So make sure it's down. Because this is, is the light grip mat. And let's get our machine ready. Now I've already selected my material, so I'm just gonna speed my machine, my mat. And let's go for it. Okay, now before I unload my mat, I'm gonna double check and make sure it uh, cut and not cut all the way through. So I don't see any cut lines on the back for sure, but did it give me a kiss cut? So let's grab this edge. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, did not cut through. Yeah. Okay, so it kind of gave me, you know, kind of a cut. So glad I double checked. I'm just going to press that C go button again. 
and allow it to do its thing one more time because that washi sheet setting did not work for me with the lamination sheet on so i think going back to the premium vinyl setting with less pressure i think that's what i was using may work or washi sheet with more pressure may work let's just see if this one works Okay, finish cutting again. Let's see what we got. So I just grabbed this in and now I can't get it again. Yeah, it looks like that gave me a nice kiss cut. Okay, so I'm gonna unload this. Let's take these off. And I'm gonna do washi sheet, more pressure. And hopefully that gives me exactly what I want. But for now, I think I'm just going to see if I cut it. See if I can use my little cutter. what this will look like if I try to cut it on a straight line this is good and broken but we got a new one coming from Timu so hopefully it beats here soon but um until then we gonna make it do what it do so let's see line the bottom and the top up and see what we can we can cut some of this off without cutting the sticker itself. Mm. I think that'll be good. And that did not get any of the line off that I was trying to get off. So let's go for it again. <laughs> 